So today we're going to build a web page div structure completely with divs and using CSS to position things where we want them want them to be. Uh, I'm going to start off here just writing out the basic layout structure that I like to use. I use this for most of my templates start off like this bare bones. I just like to lay out all the divs and, and, and IDs that I'm going to be using. So as you can see here I start off with a container. I've got a header now and in the header I'm going to have things like the logo, a spot for some information up top, you know, maybe your contact info, whatever, your navigation of course, which will go below both those items. Um, now I'll have a, a content area, so this is where we'll put in any banners, any uh, copy associated with the site, so my left columns, my right columns, things like that. So here I'm typing in the banner, I'll add in the left column, and put in the right column. And I'm giving them all IDs because I'm going to use those IDs and apply attributes to them with CSS to tell them where I want them to be. And I'll add some quick notes here just so I, I like to label everything. It's easier to scan through later on, especially if you're working with another developer. So I'll just type in here real quick. The heading. This is the container. And I'll just make just so I know this div goes with the ending with the with the open container. Okay, great. Now I'll add the list item. This will be the actual links to the navigation. So I'll toss in maybe four of them here. The link, I just put a URL as a dummy, but obviously you would put whatever you know web page or within your web page wherever you're gonna be linking to. And I'm copying and pasting to save some time. Uh, this is a very quick demo very bare bones but you you would get an idea of the foundation of how the structure will look so there you can see I'm starting to add uh, copy uh, toss in a couple labels so we'll know where things are as we're building we'll be able to see where they are Just put banner left column the right column content and the footer. Great. So that's just without even any CSS added yet, just text. So let's scroll up here and we'll just make sure everything looks pretty good. I'm just going to close these up. The shortcut for that is Control shift j You can collapse divs, make the page a little shorter. So now I'm going to add in uh, my styles. So let's open up a style tag and just start typing here. So I'm going to set up the HTML is the HTML will define the entire site. So uh, everything is going to have the font Arial and the color uh, 333, which is a dark gray, unless you define it somewhere else within the, the CSS document. So if I decide that I want maybe a paragraph tag or a link to be a different color or size, I can just choose to write those in there and it will override the above style command. So I'm just setting up the container here. Let's just open that up so we can see what we're working with. We're going to write the header next. And I'm doing this fairly small. 600 is not your typical web page size, but we do have a small video screen here, so I'm trying to keep it you know, legible, but at the same time, I want to give you the idea of what a web page would look like. So, just enough to fit what we need as an example. So, I'll continue to add here. I'll add the logo in, and the logo is going to be on the top left, so I'm going to want to float that left. And I'll just add a width and height to it. Whoops, there we go. Again, I, I mentioned this already. Um, this is very basic. I'm only using colors and uh, just simple fonts, just to give you an idea of you know how a frame looks um, from scratch. And you can use this as a guide, or just you know copy the code if you want, and then add in your own images and graphics that are going to make the site look like a real 
uh, professional website. So the top info here is floating right. Again, putting maybe a search engine or uh, some small miscellaneous links could go up there. You can see it's starting to take some shape. Get your header with a logo and, and I'll start putting together the nav and it'll really come together in a few minutes. So let's add the nav bar. And the nav bar, I'm gonna wanna add a height and I'm also gonna wanna clear it. Now I'm clearing it and what that means is the logo and the top info on the right are floating. So if I don't clear the nav bar, it's going to be underneath, I mean layered on top of each other underneath the logo and the top info. By clearing the nav bar, we're going to push the entire navigation below uh, the logo and the top information on the right. And here I'm adding my list item. I want them all to be floating left with some spacing in between. And same with the links. Actually, I think I want to, hmm. Yeah, let me just put in the size here. I don't want the fonts to be too big. Um, notice they weren't floating left. I need to float the links left. And I need to just, Let's see what happens here. Well, I added the padding to the wrong section. Bear with me. Here we go. Sorry, I'm thinking as I'm building, so I need to. Okay, I think this should be good. Let's uh, continue on here. Put in the banner. And I'll just toss in any color. Another gray. And we'll add a height. Maybe clear that so it goes below the nav. Toss in our left column and follow that by the right column in a minute. Just put a little width here. Now I have a general idea of what width and height I want to use because I know the main container is 600. So the left column and the right column are going to be around 290, just under 300, to give a little space in between. Because um, I'm going to float this obviously left and I'm going to float the right column obviously right. And that will give us a nice little gap in between them. So let's save that. Then we'll toss in the footer. Actually, let me just preview one thing. Just double check we got all those covered, all those divs are open up. Let's go back and refresh. You can see now we've got our left column and our right column. And I'm going to just change the color of the uh, background, or add a background color, so that it stands out a little more. There you go. And we'll also add some padding so the copy isn't so tight against the, the borders. Okay. Oh, we had to decrease the width now since we added padding. So we'll minus 40, 20 on each side here in this case. There we go. Looks pretty good. And what are we missing? Let's see here. Put some padding on the banner. Perfect. And the footer is a little tight down there, so let's now add the ID for the footer. And we'll just put in some padding in there. So that's it. That's a very basic uh, framework. Uh, you know, a, a typical average site would kind of look like this. Not obviously visually, but structured wise you've got your logo, your top info, maybe a banner of some sort. So this could be possibly a home page. So there's that CSS. You can pause that and review that. And here's the uh, code again that I wrote for the body area or the content body tag. So hopefully this was helpful and uh, let me know if anyone has any questions. Thanks.